Hey there, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. Uh, we've had a massive non-farm payrolls uh, on Friday. The economy added uh, 336,000 jobs to the economy. Um, but quite frankly, the Israel attacks overshadow much of market discussion as escalation is likely. Uh, and it's going to lead to uh, further risk of flight in most, most likely. Uh, we've got inflation data, uh, which is due on Tuesday. Uh, so we're going to again look at the euro dollar chart. Now, the market has been in a down move. Uh, we talked about just ahead of the non-farm payrolls that we were likely to see some profit take in. We recommended you tighten up stops. Uh, and this is exactly what's been seen. Uh, we've seen a bit of profit taking in, in the down move. Uh, the rally has done no damage whatsoever. It's halted uh, just ahead of the 20-day moving average at 106.02. Um, just above there, of course, we've got the previous reaction low at the end of May coming in at 106.35. And let us not forget the 106.80 downtrend, which extends all the way down from the middle of July. So lot of overhead resistance despite this bounce it's had no impact on that resistance which means our attention is still on the downside now we talked about these big levels last time uh, we've got 10409 the 50 percent retracement of the 2022 to the 2023 move uh, but the big level remains and this is the one you need to watch 10340 it is the low we got in 2017 it is, the, it is the level which, to my mind, guards the low that we got in 2022, nearer to 95.35. So do pay attention to 103.40 because I think it's going to act as the break point down to one. Thanks very much.